Oh, there we go. Was not even paying attention. Oh my gosh, that's a big fish. Unbelievable, we gotta move. What is happening, fishing friends? I made a little move, got here through one cast, had one bite. It's a pretty good sign. Starting out tonight throwing the old six inch stick bait. I've had a lot of people ask me, do you throw a stick bait? I do. I like the old six inch version. Look at that, why is my line moving? Look at that, look at that. Oh. Took my daggum stick bait. Well, that's two casts, two fish. Uh, might be a good sign. Let's put a new one on. Well, I guess this would be a perfect time to talk about what I'm throwing. There it is. This is just the regular old six inch sticko. This is in double trouble. As you can see there, it's a watermelon with a red flake and black flake there. Flip it over, it's a green pumpkin with just some black flakes. So I like these a lot. Gonna try throwing this some more. Two casts, two bites. Let's get some fish, dang it. All right, let's get this bad boy threaded on here. This is just a screw lock keeper hook. It's got a big screw there in the front. Screw it on. Just like so. I'm gonna go with the watermelon side down, green pumpkin side up. Let's try that. There we go. Oh no, really? First catch on it tonight and that's what it is? Oh no, Debo. That's not the size we're looking for. That's not the size we're looking for at all. It's, that's not even a pounder. Oh man. All right, come on, Debo. Slow start, slow start. All right, well, the good sign is they'll eat this thing. Going super simple tonight. Brought some other stuff too. I'm gonna try throwing out and get a swim jig. So some a little bit bigger too. Might try to get some big bites, but tack with it. Just come out here, start tossing around a stick bait for a little bit. You know, as a beginner, one of the absolute best things you can do is just start tossing a stick bait. go number two on the night all right well is this telling me what i need to know tried throwing the swim jig tried throwing the old chopo nothing went back to the stick bait got a bite now granted these fish are not big that guy might i don't even know if he'll go a pound all right little guys little guys on the stick bait question is can we produce anything larger now i went with the larger stick bait a six inch see if we could rule some of these guys out so as you can see you don't have to be afraid of throwing larger baits you know everybody around here that i ever see throwing a stick bait is always throwing the regular you know five inch standard stick bait nothing too crazy well with the six inch that's usually what i throw um, if i'm not throwing one of the reaction innovations pocket rockets i'll throw usually a six inch stick bait to try to get it something a little bit bigger but you can see i'm an absolute master at catching dinkful fish Hang on tight, we're about to catch some more pound and a halfers. Heck, tonight I even caught a pound and a halfer. There's a bite. It's a bluegill pecking at it. If it's a larger bass, you're usually gonna feel one bump or you're just gonna see your line go away. They don't, they don't mess with it. No need for them to pick and pop at it. Bluegill are all over the beds in here. Let's see if there's anything out here just a little bit deeper. Less, less small fish more larger fish. There's a fish. There we go, better fish, all right. Better fish, best one of the night. Hey, look at that. Whew, he is amped up. See those eyes are sunk in, skinny. Yeah, definitely needs to eat. All right, well, there's a good post bomb bass two pounder. Probably been closer to a three when he's full. Get out of here. Off she goes. 
Want to step up, see if we can get a little bit bigger bite tonight. There we go. That's a little bit better. Two pounder there. See if we can keep going up. So many people ask me, you know, Debo, if, if you could give advice to a beginner, what's like the best bait for a beginner to start with? Man, in my eyes, this time of year, early summer like this, going through summer, it's so hard to beat a stick bait like this. You know, there's not anything crazy that you have to do to fish it. You know, if you're a new person, you're not trying to worry about how to work it and all these special ways to reel it. Stick bait like this, you just toss it out, let it sink, pop it a couple times, rinse and repeat. That's all you're doing. You know, as a beginner starting out, you want to be, you know, learning to feel the bite, learning where to throw, you know, what to do. You get bites on it, just like you saw there. I'm using a six inch stick bait and had two fish that were just barely bigger than my bait. Ha, huh, that's funny, look down there. People often ask me, Debo, how do you know what other people are throwing? Look what's right here in the moss. Y'all know what that is, don't you? Regular little five inch stick bait. Everybody I'm telling you throws these things. That's a coincidence, funny. Doing a video on it, look what I find right here. I'll throw that away, but I'm telling you, everybody throws the little, you know, five inch. Try bumping up to the six inch, especially if you're somebody who has trouble casting a weightless stick bait like this. Going up to that six inch, it's heavier. It's a lot easier to cast weightless. Should help you out. There we go. Was not even paying attention. Yes, that feels like a good fish. Feels like a good fish. All right, on the old Chapo. Oh my gosh, that's a big fish. Oh yes, that is a tank. That's a freaking tank. Oh, stop jumping. What are you doing? You're on Debo's fishing. You don't want to jump. You just want to slightly. Oh my gosh, that thing's a bucket face. Oh my gosh, I cannot get to it. Oh, do not come off fish. That thing is a freaking bucket. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Oh, <laughs> absolute post-spawn horse. Oh my goodness. Oh, <laughs> seriously? What? All right, holy smokes. Um, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm shaking. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't shaking after that fish. Holy cow. That thing is feeding up. Absolute pig. Biggest fish of the year. I don't know how much this thing's gonna go. This might be a six pounder, my first six pounder of the year. Absolute donkey. All right, what's the verdict on her? Verdict is six pounds. Oh, come on. Six pounds even, all right. My first six pounder of the year. Holy smokes, that thing, look at that. Look at the belly on that thing. That thing is a freaking chunk. I don't even care, I'm stepping down in the water. We gotta let this girl go well. All right, big girl, you're back. Feel free to go. She doesn't know if she's back yet. She's good, trust me. Only had her out for a little bit, take a couple pictures. Watch. There she goes. Wow. Well, you all remember, now what's really funny about this is you all will see, I still have my uh, my pike leader on here. <laughs> so that, that fish definitely didn't care that this, uh, this old chapo had a leader. Now, if you all remember a while back, I made a video called, Is the Whopper Plopper Dead? I heard a lot of people talking about this plopper, a few others on the market. One comment I made about these hooks, and my, my man Matt corrected me on that and said, you know, well, actually, these are the fusion hooks. Those are pretty good hooks. They are pretty sharp. I was a little worried about uh, how, how the integrity would hold up if they were, you know, thick enough. Shad color, I don't know what you call it, but wow that definitely was not a debo dink i told you all once in a while i can find a decent fish and there we go started out the night you know throwing the throwing the stick bait just to see if we could get some bites as i was saying that's one of the absolute best beginner baits out there but the whopper plopper you know the plopper you know even this this is the first good fish i've caught on it the other day you see me catch that, that littler bass but this is the first big fish that i've caught on and i'm just running it barely enough to you know kind of give it some plops on the water not running it crazy fast. It's not a lot of wind out here. You want to match the commotion of this, you know, this plopping style bait to what the water's doing. Right now, not a bunch of crazy wind and stuff, so I'm not going crazy. You can see just a slight pop behind it, just a good steady bubble trail. Oh my gosh, and that fish, 
hammered it. I mean, frogging is my favorite. By far, frogging is my favorite to do, but anytime you can get any sort of action on a topwater, and honestly, the plopper is probably my next favorite, you know, topwater bait besides a frog. You can cover a ton of water with it. You don't have to do anything special with it. You know, if you're not good at walking the dog or, you know, learning when to use the popper, you know, when to use it, when to pop it, you know, that kind of thing. The whopper plopper is just cast and reel. The only thing you have to do is kind of match your speed to whatever the water is doing that night. Like tonight, not a lot of commotion, so I'm not going crazy fast. I just want a good steady plop behind it, not too loud. Just enough to draw their attention, let them key in on it. And, and I wasn't even watching. That's like the key of topwater fishing. If you want to get bit on topwater, stop paying attention. And it doesn't work if you just are like, oh, look, I'm not paying attention, looking out of the corner of my eye. You have to legit like not be paying attention like I was there. Well, I, I think that told me all I need to know. I'm not going to be throwing the stick bait anymore. Oh, that was a fish right there. <laughs> I thought I felt something grab my bait. Come on, you still there? Still there, you aggressive little bass? There it is. What is it? What is it? Bluegill? There it is. <laughs> All right. Well, I think that's probably going to be it. Tried throwing the stick bait before I left. Thought, you know what? I couldn't let everybody down and not end on a Debo Dink. What do you think? Yeah, he's feisty at least that's more like the fish i'm used to catching well as i was saying at the beginning of the video i know a lot of people are you know scared to throw a six inch stick bait look at that that fish maybe would go a pound because he's got a little gut i don't know that's pushing it but that's a six inch stick bait get it back in there fella don't be afraid to be different instead of throwing the regular five inch there it is you can see the difference there the five inch versus the six inch you know a little bit shorter skinnier profile compared to the six inch a little bit thicker a little bit longer so i usually try to throw this to get some bigger bites as you uh, as you can see here tonight even the little guys were still eating it so don't be afraid to bump up to a six inch stick bait